What's up guys? We're back here in the garage again with the Stereon. Now the last we left off we uh, removed our cross member and we were able to start boxing in or reinforcing one side. We did start reinforcing the other side right here. Um, once again we are starting late in the day and we never seem to have enough time with our normal working schedule. And um, just uh, another quick update. We decided to ditch the Honda motor and uh, put in this um, L24 Nissan side draft car. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's an ugly motor. <laughs> no, I'm gonna probably get hate for that, huh? That's a beautiful motor. I love that motor. That motor is awesome. You know, that, that motor as for something else one day, maybe. Anyway, no, we're still with the Honda motor, of course. And um, we did receive our first batch of uh, budget parts. Now, our manifold, our exhaust manifold that we're gonna go with is actually a DNA. DNA motoring um, manifold uh, meant for a bottom mount for an RSX. So um, the quality is not too bad actually. I mean the runners, the, the actual, uh, the runners are, are pretty uh, pretty thick and the, the flange is uh, about a half inch thick so that's good. It's made of stainless steel, not too bad. So what we're going to wind up doing is because obviously we don't want it, the turbo mounted below the header, what we're going to wind up doing is like we're doing with our um, intake manifold over there that um, I'll get back to right now is uh, we're gonna cut here 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 and here and actually flip it in reverse so instead of this guy because you got a picture if we were to put it on like this the motor uh, the turbo would be hanging way too low and it'll be uh, it'll be hitting it'll be hitting uh, yeah there's no room for a turbo at all so we definitely gotta mount it upright like so like so so that way at least yeah and then we obviously plan to uh, level this thing out too once we once we flip that we're gonna level out the turbo flange right there so and then it obviously puts the wastegate um, pointing towards the back which is cool we're gonna wind up cutting that off and putting like a, a, a what are they called V-band <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking of we're gonna cut that sh a little bit shorter and run a, a V-band um, wastegate external wastegate so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, also the turbo also came in, um, hot and fresh from eBay. Uh, we decided to go with actually a GT30 type uh, turbo, which uh, should be more than enough. Um, turbine's a lot smaller than it looks. It just has a, the anti-surge, which is just cool. Uh, that's a nice turbo for, how much did we pay for it? 175. 175, and it came with the oiling system too. And it's actually a water... A water cooled and oil cooled so I like that we're gonna be run, using using both of them too so um uh, it said that the k24 uh, even in a stock form uh, this particular trim and this size of turbo uh, should work perfect for it and supposedly it holds up to it supports up to 500 horsepower but okay we're not gonna be going that high with it so uh, we'll see what it can do and uh, if it's a little bit too big or too laggy we could always go with the smaller one so okay and then our intake manifold, we finally decided what we're going to do here is we purchased a two and a quarter inch aluminum, the same gauge as our runners here. And um, it's actually, it's two and a quarter, but they smashed it down, kind of oblong it a little bit, but it is actually the same size. So what we'll wind up doing is measuring what we need, which I believe was seven and a half inches from here to the tank. We're gonna do it. Oh, and how these are going at an angle? We're gonna cut them flat, and we're going to be flaring this out to two and a half inches, which is this right here, which they did at um, Sharp Customs. They did was take the exact same type of tubing and flare it out, but they have it cut at an angle. But we wanna we wanna run straight. So, and then we'll be welding that up, and uh, that'll take care of our manifold. So that was a cheap, another cheap alternative. Only only about what twenty bucks. Some tubing and it has like the same finish on it too but that's pretty cool okay so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna uh, finish up um, we're almost we're nearly done with our cross member uh, before we can fit the turbo and stuff like that we're gonna weld it up but actually you know what I'm getting a little bit tired of <laughs> welding on this thing and it's really hot right now so I'm gonna move on to cutting the runners off of this just so we can get an idea and I'm gonna tack it upside down so we get a better feel for what it's going to look like. 
Okay, we're about to cut this uh, manifold off, but Jericho believes he can just use his hand. Oh, look at that. Oh, Damn, oh. Jericho. You're strong. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we trimmed, we managed to trim off all the runners right here and uh, did it not, not too bad. It came out all right. So this is how it originally was. Then what we plan to do is obviously just flip it. We're going to grind that down flat though, but we're going to flip it and re-weld it like so. There we go. So now it's now the a top mount. So, and then I figure after that's welded up, then we could um, put it on because I'm going to need to cut this off and reposition it just so the turbo, because I want the, per the turbo to point outward a little bit. So, and you can see the, the angle of it right now. If we were to put the turbo on, it would actually be pointing kind of away and towards the front of the motor. So, not bad. I cut through your, your karate chop. Cut through that thing like butter. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Took me four tries. Cool. So let's go ahead and uh, switch the I'm gonna switch the bit onto our, our grinder and grind that flat. And then make sure all of our runners uh, sit on there nice and evenly, and nice and flat. Oh yeah, there you go. It'll look more like that, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't want to cut the run. Let's see how thick. See, see, the runners are actually pretty thick. See that? Like at least a like a millimeter and a half or so. It was just stainless steel, so. Uh, hopefully it don't crack. Um, I have used a, a DNA header before, like on a um, SR20, and uh, it's still on there. It's been on there now for about, ooh, about seven years. So, yeah, and I haven't gotten any crack. I did purchase another one from eBay from another uh, person one time, though, for the SR20, and, and it did crack. No, but they said DNA told me that no our, ours don't crack so even though we only paid like maybe less than a hundred dollars for this header so uh, not bad quality it's not for our budgets it fits perfect so okay we're gonna go ahead and switch our bit right now to the grinder no that's somewhere I gotta look for it it's around here somewhere <laughs> around here somewhere so all right guys um, we'll be right back Like your, oh, sweet. Oh, my drink with metal? <laughs> oh, wait, dude, wait, 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 wait. Dude, there's a NOS tank right there, dude. Man, you know that could have been... Oh, it's not flammable. Uh, oh, okay, go ahead. Party on. Me. Party on. Looks good. Got one more to go, huh? One more. All right, cool. Then we can uh, clean it up. We can switch the bits from the grinder to the, the sander. Just make it a lot more smoother, but oh, not bad. Pretty flat. That looks good. All right, cool. One more to go. All right, guys. There's our rough draft of our uh, of our uh, turbo header. We got right now. I just got it tacked right now just to get a better idea, but not bad. You know, get the get the turbo. Let's hold the turbo up to it. See what that looks like. That beast turbo. Watch out, watch out. Not tank next year. It's not flammable, right? No. <laughs> Your leg, I thought your leg was probably really hot. Might have blown it up. Whoa. See that we're gonna need to clock it. <laughs> Now it's cool. Let me take this off. Let me show the, the nice. Oh yeah! Look at that. That's gonna look cool. What do you think? Let's see how it's. Uh, it'll cock it in towards the towards the head. You gotta be able to bring it out. What if we? If it stood. Let's see, let's get this somewhere else. 
and let's not grab the hot side either. <laughs> Burn myself again. Put on a little towel here. Spin it. Alright. Alright, so that's how it sits right now. So if we were to just cut and spin. Whoops. Spin another burger. Yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, I want it something. I know, it starts pointing downward. It'll start to point downward, huh? Can't really see it on the camera, but it's definitely pointing downward. That was nice. <laughs> so cool. Look at that. Kind of want it to go like this. Yeah, and a little bit outward. Yeah. Pretty good angle there. Yeah, we need to chop that. Okay, let's go ahead and chop it. Now that I have it tacked on so it won't, cut, it'll, it won't come off, it'll be easier to cut. So let's uh, go ahead and decapitate it and um, grind it down and put it exactly where we're going to want it. Alright guys, I, we got the flange, the T3 flange cut off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wind up uh, uh, making this a little bit more flat. You got to grind it nice and even. got to go ahead and grind all this old weld off right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, finish up, finish up our cross member now. All I gotta do is uh, add the, the top piece right here for it, and then I put a little bit of weld right here on each side just to help out with uh, reinforcing. I'm also gonna put gusseting from here to here, little uh, little gussets just to reinforce this top section of the um, cross member. So as soon as that's done, then we're gonna drill the holes here and bolt in our uh, engine mounts and then go ahead and install back onto here so we can remove our engine brace our engine bridge and uh, put our header on and um, get our turbo pretty much mocked up figured out exactly how we're going to be running it uh, getting uh, progress has been uh, <laughs> really slow uh, we don't have too much time to work on this thing unfortunately I mean I wish I really wish I could work on this every day but um, me and Jericho do work <laughs> And uh, we work long hours, and uh, we pretty much only putting in a few hours uh, into this thing, maybe once, if we're lucky, twice a week. But lately, it's pretty much been about once a week. So uh, bear with us, and that will that will change. Um, I'm not too sure how soon, but uh, that will change. We will be able to put more time into it. Um, this seems to be taking a lot longer than you know we were hoping for. And uh, things are starting to change a little bit. Our ideas are starting to change. Uh, we're already thinking about um, the exhaust as far as our downpipe goes. I did find a brand new wastegate right here. It happens to be the same um, 38 millimeter flange right here. So we might just run with this since we already have it. So um, we don't need to cut or weld anymore. It's our, the right flange is already there. But that does depend on if it is you know, pointing in the right direction. It does clear because that would be somewhere back here. So I think we, we might have enough room. We do plan on making the, the downpipe, uh, you know, three inches all the way back. Uh, we, were ta we were discussing about having a, um, maybe an electric cutout that um, came out to the side of the car, about right here, dumped out. Uh, that way if we just, you know, want to show off or something, throw some flames, uh, throw the two-step out, throw some six foot flames out we can do that and then just flip the switch and go back to the the muffler all the way back but we are going to have a three inch exhaust maybe now nah, yeah i think three inch i don't i don't think we really need three and a half i mean the motor's not built or anything so we'll just run with three inch that'll that'll do us fine like i said our our, our goal is is real realistically um 350 350 we'll be happy right 350 is more than enough i mean in a, in a car you know this size um it's not that heavy I mean, it looks heavy but it's not that heavy but 300 even 300 in any car you know it's just gonna be fun to drive you know we're gonna do the suspension nice uh, we're gonna upgrade our brakes so um, it's pretty much gonna be an all-around street car uh, like I said we're not looking to break the world stereo record and quarter mile time of zero <laughs> or you know we're not here to do tens or anything like I mentioned in my other videos you know we just we're just here to have fun um, you know, we, we come up with these ideas and, you know, we just, just want to spit them out there. Uh, so, yeah, and, uh, yeah, we're not, you know, not going to do anything with that motor. 
It is a good it is a good running motor though. But um yeah, no, don't worry, don't worry about that motor. <laughs> Not doing anything with that. So so in our our next uh our next endeavor with this is um to get that cross member finally completed and um bolt that up here, uh finish off the transmission cross member by drilling those holes. Uh, that way everything's totally mounted and then we can finally start some fun stuff. Um, we did order our flaring tool mm -hmm. for our intake manifold. That should be here any minute. That should be here any, yeah, any, any minute, yeah, right. <laughs> should be here any day now. So I'm sure by the next time, next week or next few days that we start working on this again, uh, we'll have that flaring tool so we can start um, configuring the, uh, the intake manifold. So that way at least it looks like a, a complete motor, you know? And then we get, you know, far better feeling for it and, um, you know, it'll it'll push us to to move on and come up with new ideas. So, yeah, and after that, then we, we move on to worrying about that clutch. That clutch has got to be next. After all that, the clutch has to be next. So I'm trying to get a hold of my buddy, and um, he's supposed to come down, and I found the... We found the K, the K flywheel here, stock one. And what McGregor Motorsports, like I mentioned last time, what McGregor Motorsport had said was uh, usually on a factory uh, K series, uh, the pilot bearing goes here, but the center of the pilot bearing is measured for the shaft, the transmission shaft on uh, K series, which is a lot smaller. So what we have to do, and uh, once again, McGregor Motorsports mentioned that they recommend a phosphorus bronze material. So it's kind of like a that's a self lubricating material. So and the and it won't wear down uh, as fast. But um, what we're gonna have to do is get the outer measurement for this, and then have him uh, machine it down to this, and then in the center, which will be our Toyota uh, transmission shaft, have to get him to uh, mill that out so then we just press that in and that's it but um, we're not going to use this this is just our old uh, I pulled this out of an old um, K20 a long time ago and I did a clutch and flywheel on it so luckily I held on to that because the engine that we have came out of an automatic vehicle so cool so yeah I got to get a hold of them if not we can hit up a machine shop and um, see how much they'll charge us to do something like that probably order the material for them but uh, obviously we don't need too much. So with that, and then we have to contact, because that takes care of the pilot bearing as far as the clutch goes. Uh, we got to contact some clutch company. Maybe, who's that in Rialto? Clutchmaster. Clutchmaster. And uh, see if they could um, get us a, a K clutch with a uh, center button, center spline for the Toyota W58. So, all right, guys. So, uh, we're going to end it here tonight. It is already late. See the the moon. The moon is out. <laughs> so, once again, um, like, subscribe. Uh, leave your comment below or uh, let your hate flow, whatever it may be. Uh, we do appreciate any, any feedback you give us. Um, maybe some other ideas in the future. Uh, we do, like I said, we do have a lot of other projects that we got to do. I got another car on the side of the house. We got a bring the Swift back out and uh, do something with that because um, I just started that up earlier and it fired right up. It's been sitting for a few months now. So we got to bring her out to play again, huh? Pretty exciting. Yeah. So, cool. All right, guys. And have a good night. Peace.